27 fights, 25 wins by knockout, a southpaw pocket powerhouse in the lightweight division, quite possibly the most terrifying knockout weapon in the sport, the Baltimore Bullet, Gervonta Tank Davis. Tank Davis meteoric rise through the boxing world has collected potentially the most brutal knockout highlight reel in boxing, tearing through skulls, livers and kidneys on his way. Gervonta harnesses an exciting style, with his power combining with his fantastic precision, excellent defense and patience to create an unstoppable fighter going undefeated at this point in his career. Davis started off in the mean streets of Baltimore and would debut in 2013, and as the unstoppable tank makes his way through the boxing world, he will take on Hector Garcia in January. With a future highly anticipated bout against fellow prospect Ryan Garcia in 2023, this video could be 25 fights long. However, today we will take a look at just 8 of Tank Davis' best knockouts so far in his young career. Feel free to like and subscribe to the channel for more boxing content. Davis made his second defense of his WBA Super Featherweight title on July 27, 2019 when he defeated Ricardo Nunez by second round technical knockout in front of 12,000 fans in his hometown of Baltimore, Maryland. In the first round, Davis took his time to get acquainted with his opponent. After obtaining a couple of punches from Nunez in the second round, Davis went into attack mode and connected multiple times on Nunez, prompting the referee to step in and stop the fight. His victory marked the first time a Baltimore native had returned to defend a world title. In the most recent example of Gervonta's dominance, Davis announced his intention to challenge undefeated champion Rolando Romero in 2022. Romero spent the majority of the fight stalking Davis and landing a few hard shots, while Tank picked his spots and tried to find his range. Here's where the, um, the left hand is going to come from Romero. More Davis noticed that his left hand was getting closer and closer to hitting the target as the rounds progressed. Romero couldn't find his mark, but kept chasing Davis. More punch is going to land. Wow, Davis really trying to play the, the mind game here. Dave. He will accept. And he's already given him two warnings. Romero's plan backfired when he walked right into a bomb, sending him down and out for the first time in his career. Davis moved up to the lightweight division for the first time in December 2019 to face former unified featherweight world champion Yuriokis Gamboa. Gamboa was a 30-2 fighter from Cuba who was technically sound and had an unstoppable flair. Davis looked sharp right away, hitting numerous left leads to put Gamboa on the defense. In the second round, Davis pushed forwards, landing accurate punches and finishing with a chopping left hand that dropped his opponent. And here's where the, the knockdown happens with the straight left hand. Gets hit with that Whoa. left hand that lands this terrific. Uh, him jabbing to the body and coming with that straight left hand. Got by Gamboa coming back with a left. Gamboa and Davis now in the final 15 oh. seconds. And oh, Davis wow. lands a left hand, dropping Gamboa again. Yuri oh. Orkis Gamboa had a strong showing. However, in the final round, 
Another monster left dropped him for good, prompting the referee to call the fight off. Gervonta Davis had five straight knockouts before clashing with Guillermo Avila in a 10-round super featherweight bout on April 1, 2016, as he was curating a brutal rise to contest for one of the major boxing bouts. Those of you who promise, I think when it comes to power, he's outmatched in this fight. He might have to change to more of a boxing style. Davis wasn't bothered by that. Now you can tell he's not yeah. used to getting hit. Oh. oh Gervonta demonstrated his emerging talent as a multi-dimensional gun fighter. Edge is to Davis. Think he has some cut up in the eye. Just cut Avila and Davis. Davis piling up points. The crowd reacts to it. And Avila, the first couple rounds, has dissipated because of that cut. That body shot hurt him. Big body shot. Davis continued his assault in the fifth round, landing a straight left hand that knocked Avila out. Davis came out of his corner in the sixth and final round and jumped straight on his opponent, causing the referee to stop the action. Avila needed to show something at the beginning of the round to stay in it, and now Davis thinks he's got him done, and Michelle Myers has seen enough. It Nine seconds into round number six, the winner by TKO, still undefeated, Trevante, the one Davis. Gervonta Davis won the IBF Super Featherweight title in impressive fashion in January 2017, defeating Jose Pedraza in seven rounds. Pedraza made a huge mistake by going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a heavy puncher like Davis, despite the fact that he had survived fairly well for the beating that he had received. Davis hurt his opponent with a body punch in the sixth round. Then he ended the fight with a succession of crosses and hooks to the head in the seventh round. Davis fought for the WBA Super Featherweight title in April 2018 against Argentine former featherweight champion Jesus Cuellar. We are underway as you see that Bowie shot is to Davis tagged his opponent early shot. and floored him in the second round with a body shot. In the third round, the Argentinian was down again on body shots and got up. But Davis went for the kill and battered him down against the ropes to get the stoppage. Davis moved up to the super lightweight division for the first time in his career in June 2021 to face undefeated WBA champion Mario Barrios. Brought up the power of the exoskeleton. There's the right hand. The big difference from Barrios doubles with the jab. Barrios sticking that jab out and getting a right hand in. Oh, 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 After failing to get inside Barrios' huge height and reach advantage, Tank persisted and changed the fight's narrative by dropping Barrios with a tremendous right hook to the head in the 8th round. After a brave performance by Barrios, Yvonne Davis would put the opponent's hopes to rest in the 11th round. Hey. At number one in what is likely Davis' most brutal knockout in his career, Davis defended his lightweight title against four-division world champion Leo Santa Cruz in his pay-per-view debut on Showtime in October 2020. 
He's a pressure fighter in this fight. He's pressuring. Who wants to bring Davis into the deeper waters? And they already so much to absorb. Training yourself also mentally. Santa Cruz, a four division world champion, is renowned for his toughness, stamina, and determination to unleash punches from the opening bell to the end. Santa Cruz's toughness would be on show and had a gritty performance until Tank's power began to overwhelm him. The fight had been relatively even until the sixth round, when Davis caught Santa Cruz with a demonic left uppercut that sent the Mexican straight to the canvas. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel for more boxing content.